So exosomes is up number 11. So exosomes is probably in my mind, one of the most overhyped skincare ingredients. First of all, let's start with what exosomes are. So they're basically think of them as packages. So think of them as like little bags that are technically supposed to keep in the bags some important cellular messengers. And the idea is that the, this bag will then be able to penetrate through the cell surface, enter the cell, deliver those cellular messengers, things like growth factors and proteins that are, you know, would potentially regenerate and repair skin. The problem is, at the moment, I'm gonna give exosomes a one out of 10, and that's honestly being generous. And the reason why is because there's literally no evidence whatsoever that exosomes can penetrate the skin in a reliable way at this time. You know, like I said, there's smart research being done. There's labs out there trying to sort this out. But sometimes you come to market too quickly with something. All you have is some preclinical data, meaning like things that are done in, in laboratories and cells and you know, not on actual human skin and not specifically not done over time and not done in larger studies, et cetera, the way all the other ingredients that I just talked about have been done. You have to question this um, because there's no standardization. There's no proof of efficacy. And um, even just the concentrations, how much of this is penetrating, how much is not, what is really happening at the cellular level, these things all lead me to be concerned about not just efficacy, but even safety, right? We just simply don't have enough long-term data about their potential, but also their safety.